this video we're going to take a look at how to play the Creedence Clearwater Revival song Low Die and it starts off with that introduction <laughs> stop on the third fret of the G and the B and now I'm using my fingers to play this one because I think it's a lot easier going to the fourth of B and the fifth of G sliding up two frets coming back down slide back down and then into the third frets again right there, that's pretty quick fourth and fifth again pull off the ring finger leaving the middle finger where it is then third frets can add the third fret of the D in and it sounds fuller so we got that now this next little riff right at the end hardly hear that on the record but it is there and as that as you finish on the, the B flatly on the sixth fret that's when the first chord comes in on that to watch out for that but that's just a hammer on from the third of D hammer on at the fifth pull off fifth of A third of D but you may just want to start on the sample. but we'll get to that in a minute, it's that. So we've got... Now the song itself, funnily enough, is fairly straightforward, but uh, isn't particularly guitar friendly when you consider Credence are a guitar driven band. B flat, E flat, G minor and F, not the friendliest of uh, guitar chords. Now we're going to play the B flat in this position, the E flat like that, and the G minor, and you have an F, and we're going to play that there. That's a lot simpler than doing the B flat, E flat, G minor, and F. It's just easier somewhat. Um, so we're going to play it like this. I'll play it through to the waffle. Just about a year ago, set out on the road, seeking my fame and fortune, looking for a borrow. Things got bad, things got worse. Guess you know the truth. this little at the end of the end our little fill so we've got the B flat just about a year ago E flat set out on the B flat road seeking my G minor fame and fortune I think the bass player changes from the G bass note to the F so watch out for that um because it might throw you a little bit but there's a the but that's nothing to do with the guitarist. Um, that's the bass player. So you might see this written out as a G minor slash G minor to G minor slash F. Part of E flat. I'm looking for a part of go up for the F gold gold. B flat. Things got bad and G minor things got worse. E flat. Guess I know the B flat tune. Oh Lord, I'm. F stuck in low die, E flat again, and then that's where that little and the little. So on that we've got um, third fret of the the D hammering on to the fifth fret, moving to the third fret of G to the fifth bend, fifth third. Fifth of D, third of G there, and then again that little, which is 
almost difficult to hear a little bit but like I said before it is there so that verse one again just about a year ago set out Same chord progression. Put it on a greyhound, and I'm looking out if I go. I was just passing through, must be seven months or more. And I'm out of time for money, it looks like my two friends. Oh no, I'm stuck in low tide again. A solo which is really based on the introduction riff flat really listen carefully so you can hear it in all honesty I have seen guitar tabs that have missed that out because you can't quite hear it but like I said before is there then we're back to our now I've put the sheets I've put this on two sheets a uh, link available on the blog we're gonna go through verse 3 now which is just the same as the chord progression before. Then from the magazine, said I was on my way. On our last connection, ran out of songs to play. Came in at a time on that stand. It looks like my plans fell through. Oh Lord, I'm stuck in a low tide again. Then there's this little key change and it goes like that. And really all that is is the tenth fret of the A and D hammering onto the twelfth of A. Move up a string and do the same thing this time on the tenth fret of the D and the G. Back again, finishing on the tenth frets of D and G. Which you can see on the guitar tab. It's very Hendrixy. Move to the fifth fret, do exactly the same thing. And then on the fifth frets of the D and G, we're gonna pull off to the fourth fret of G. So you've got that. song goes into C and the chords that we're going to be using are C, F and A minor and G a lot more guitar friendly so verse 4 is starting on C if I only had a dollar for every song I sung and every time I had to play what people said they drum you know I'd catch the next train Again, then our out row is the main in row riff, but play it up two frets. And you have that little in there, and then that kind of repeats and fades. But verse four. 
See, if I only had a dollar for F, every song I'd see, song. And every time I hear my head to play Y, F, people sat there G drunk. See, you know I'd catch the in my next train, F, back to where I see live. Still will say, oh Lord G, stuck in low die again. And then again, oh Lord. I'm stuck in a low day again. Yeah. If I only, if I only had a dollar, every Sunday I'd sing, and every time I had to play while people sat. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope that helps you be able to play Low Die by Queen's Clearwater Revival.